Every day, your team handles a wide range of chemicals, products, and blends. Each of these poses unique health, safety, and environmental hazards. Identifying and communicating these hazards is critical to keeping your team safe and maintaining compliance, and doing so relies on accurate underlying data. Each chemical, product, and blend within your facilities must have accurate product specification data showing the composition of specific chemicals therein, whether coming from a vendor or produced on site. You need to know that the product specification data you have is correct and that the proper values are used in planning, monitoring, and reporting. The impact of even minor product specification mistakes can be severe. Let's look at an example involving a blend that contains 10% toluene by weight. Somewhere within their documentation, company A has the right value on file. However, somewhere along the chain of repeated manual data entry, that value has been changed from 10% to 1%. The 10% toluene solution would be properly classified for the following chemical hazards in accordance with GHS thresholds. Skin irritant category 2, reproductive toxicity category 2, and specific target organ toxicity repeated exposure category 2. Working with the incorrect value of 1%, none of these hazards would be assigned, labeled, communicated with your team, or accounted for in reporting. Your organization would be in continuous non-compliance with a wide range of OSHA, EPA, and other regulations. Even more importantly, your team will not have the information and awareness they need to work safely. They may not have the proper handling instructions, won't be able to respond to incidents effectively, and will not have the right information on hand for first aid and emergency responders. These incorrect specifications can propagate throughout your material tracking to affect overall production, use, and waste values as well. The simple mistake of entering 1% instead of 10% could see your facilities drastically underreport their use or mistakenly claim the de minimis exemptions. Looking at our example of toluene, mistakenly using a lower value could lead to fines and penalties when you submit inaccurate environmental reports such as Toxic Release Inventory or TRI Form R Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act EPCRA for Tier 2 National Emissions Inventory or NEI Title V Air Permit Compliance Industry Specific NESHAP discharge monitoring reporting, and annual or biannual hazardous waste reports. Take an example where your facility used 20,000 gallons of product A with a density of 8.5 pounds per gallon and 10% toluene by weight. The correct calculation provides a total toluene usage of 17,000 pounds above reportable thresholds. If 1% toluene by weight is used instead, your calculated toluene usage would be just 1,700 pounds, below reportable thresholds. This seemingly minor mistake can lead to your organization failing to meet its reporting obligations. All of these regulatory, health, and safety concerns can arise from one instance of entering the wrong value for a single chemical composition. Consider how many chemicals, products, and blends are found within your facilities and how often your team is manually managing product specification and usage data. ERA's EHS software includes a variety of features to avoid these mistakes. Features such as bulk data upload and direct product specification uploads from vendors minimize opportunities for manual data entry mistakes. Instead of passing values back and forth between various systems and spreadsheets, your chemical data is maintained in a central platform with rigorous data validation. 
Instead of taking a risk on manual data entry and management, let ERA's EHS software streamline your monitoring, reporting, and compliance while maintaining the highest level of data integrity and accuracy. Schedule a call with one of our project analysts today to find out more.